Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to see few concepts of digital circuits and logic design. This is the first video session that I am going to record. So these video sessions that I am going to record are basically useful for the Karnataka students who are studying MTech or PG. So first we will understand what are the prerequisites before going deep into the digital circuits and logic design concept. So first and foremost is you should be thorough with the concept of digital electronics. You should know how gates work and how the digital circuits work. And next and very important point is KMAP. This is the very important concept that you need to understand and be thorough with before going to digital circuits and logic design into deep. Okay. Next is you should know what are implicants and what are prime implicants. So these are the basic concepts that you need to be thorough with uh, before going to digital circuits and logic design concepts so uh, the main and most important concept is kmap it is used in almost all the problems to solve in digital circuits and logic design so next we will understand what is meant by threshold logic threshold logic is nothing but a switching function Okay, as we use the gates and some interconnections to construct any digital circuit, instead of using the gates and interconnections or wires, we are going to use threshold logic. We will understand further what is meant by threshold logic and how it can be represented. So as I said, without using gates or instead of using gates, we are using threshold logic to construct any digital circuit. Okay, There are many advantages of using the threshold logic and also some disadvantages. Advantages are like, it is very simple to construct. Okay. Not many gates or interconnections are used in this concept. Only one representation can be uh, can be used to represent a digital circuit completely. And disadvantages are like not all the circuits, not all the circuits can be represented by using the threshold logic. Okay, these are some of the advantages and disadvantages. Next, we will go to the representation part. How the threshold logic can, uh, is represented in DCLD. So, this is the T that is threshold element. Here we have weights w1 w2 up to wn and here we have inputs i1 i2 up to in and we have one output as usual that is y okay here we need to understand that t and w that is threshold element and weight can take any positive or negative finite values okay t can be minus 0 0.5 plus 5 minus 10 etc same as w okay but i1 to in that is input and y that is output take binary values that is 0 and one so this is about how we represent a 
त्रिशोल लॉजिक इन डी सी एल डी गोइंग फर्दर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दी आई ओ रिलेशन दिस इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके आईओ रिलेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट इनपुट आउटपुट रिलेशन सो देर आर टू रूल्स दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वन इज इफ समेशन ऑफ एक्स आई डब्ल्यू आई आई टर्निंग फ्रॉम वन टू एन इज ग्रेटर देन टी देन दी आउटपुट वाई विल बी इक्वल टू वन दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेकेंड इज इफ समेशन एक्स आई डब्ल्यू आई i from 1 to n is less than t then y will be equal to 0 this is nothing but if the weighted sum of input and weight this is the weighted sum if the weighted sum is greater than the threshold value then the output will be equal to 1 if the weighted sum is lesser than the threshold value then the output will be equal to 0 these are the two basic rules that we will use further in problems so uh, let me take an example okay so this this is the threshold logic as i said that threshold element that is t can take any value uh, let me take it as minus 2 and i have three inputs which can be in binary let me take them as 1 0 1 okay and uh, let me take weights as 1 minus 1 and 2 okay next we need to find out the output using the io relation what did the io relation said summation of xi wi i from 1 to n if it is greater than the threshold then y is equal to 1 if it is lesser than threshold then y is equal to 0 this is the io relation we will see what is the weighted sum of this threshold logic that is nothing but x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x2 w x3 w3 this is the weighted sum x1 is nothing but 1 multiplied with w1 that is nothing but 1 plus x2 is 0 multiplied with minus 1 x3 is 1 w3 is 2 sum will be equal to 3 is 3 greater than the threshold element minus 2 yes if the weighted sum is greater than the threshold element then the output will be equal to 1 this is how we need to find the output using the io relation next we will see uh, two problems okay two types of problems in the first problem weights and threshold will be given okay in the first type of problems we need to find the output that is nothing but y okay in the second type of problems output that is nothing but y will be given and we need to find the weights and threshold so these are the two type of problems that we will see today so first one as i said weights and threshold will be given okay let us assume it as 1 minus 1 2 1 okay this is x1 
x2, x3, that is nothing but input. These three are the weights. One is the threshold, and we need to find the output y. So in uh, in these type of problems also, we will be using the input output relation to find it out. So first step is to write a table. So here, as we can see, there are three inputs. Okay, x one, x two, x three. So the number of combinations will be two raised to three. That is nothing but eight combinations. Okay, we will write a table. First, we will write the inputs x one, x two, x three. Okay, and next will be the table for weighted sum. In the next column, we will do a comparison. Okay, in the last column. we have output that is nothing but y okay so in the weighted sum uh, here we have minus x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 okay from the threshold logic i have written the weighted sum okay now we know the inputs the combinations for the inputs that is 0001010111011011011 and 111 these are the combinations next we need to find the weighted sum just uh, substitute the values of x1 x2 x3 in this equation that we have got okay then we will get a weighted sum column so this will be 0 here we have 0 plus 0 plus x3 is nothing but 1 next we have 0 plus 1 1 is multiplied with 2 which is nothing but 2 okay next we have x1 is 0 x2 is multiplied by 2 1 into 2 is 2 plus X three is one, that will be equal to three. Next we have x one multiplied by minus one, that is minus one. Next minus one plus x three is one, that will be equal to zero. Next minus one plus two, which is nothing but one. Next we have minus one plus two plus one, which is nothing but two. Here we will compare the weighted sum with the threshold element. Okay, here the weighted sum is zero. Is zero greater or lesser than one? It is lesser than one. Okay, one. Is equal to the threshold one. Even if it is equal to, we will consider it as greater or equal to. Okay. Next three. Sorry, two. Is two greater than one? That is threshold. Three is greater than one. Minus one is lesser than one. Zero is lesser than one. One is greater than or equal to one. Okay, two is greater than one. So, as we have seen here, if the weighted sum is greater than or sorry, I forgot to add equal to here. If it is greater than or equal to the threshold, output will be equal to one. if it is lesser than the threshold then the output will be equal to 0 we need to complete this table okay using the same input output relationship 0 is lesser than the threshold that is 1 the output will be equal to 0 if it is greater than or equal to the threshold 
then the output will be 1 if it is greater than the threshold output is 1 if it is greater it is also greater than the threshold if it is lesser than then the output is 0 it is lesser than output is 0 greater than or equal to 1 greater than 1 ok this is how we will find the output column ok this is not the complete output it is just a column we need to minimize it using a k map now so this is the output that we have found we will write a k map for the same as it has three inputs 2 raised to 3 that will be equal to 8 block k map will be used ok x1 x2 x3 x1 bar x1 x2 x3 x2 bar x3 x2 x3 x2 x3 bar ok now we will write the output here 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 if you are not thorough with the, then go through some uh, video sessions or let me know in the comment section below so that I can record another video session separately for the K maps ok so we will find the output using K map we will group the ones and here we have common that is x2 here we have common that is x1 bar here x3 so now the output is nothing but x1 bar x3 plus x2 this is the final answer so next we will consider another type of problem in which the output will be given and we need to find out the weights and threshold so this is going to be a trial and error method so the problem will be like x1 x2 x3 is equal to summation of 0 1 3 this is the output column that is the y column that we have found out at the last in the last uh, problem that we have solved so this is given we need to find weights that is w1 w2 w3 as the weights or uh, number of weights will be equal to the number of inputs and we need to find out the threshold element value okay so this is the problem that we will solve now to solve this problem first we need to construct a table as usual first will be inputs we have x1 x2 x3 fill the column there are three number of inputs so the combinations will be 2 raised to 3 that is nothing but 8 so these are the 8 combinations and next in the last uh, question we have written the second column that is the weighted sum which was given here the weighted sum is not given why that is output is given we need to write down the output if you are confused how to write it just write down number here so whatever the numbers are given here that is 0 1 3 you need to write 1 there and others as 0 ok 0 1 3 ok 0 1 3 that is 1 and write others as 0 now this column is complete next we will write the inequality column ok 
okay uh, we will write we will write it here x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 just substitute the values of x1 x2 and x3 from this column and uh, write down the inequality column so first one will be 0 okay and this uh, second one will be w3 just substitute the values of x1 x2 and x3 in this equation we will get it and third will be w3 fourth will be w2 plus w3 fifth one will be w1 sixth will be w1 plus w3 and w1 plus w2 w1 plus w2 plus w3 next we will see the output column here and we will fill down if the threshold is greater than or lesser than the uh, weighted sum okay if the output is 1 then the weighted sum is greater than the threshold this was the input output relation that we have seen if the output is 1 that means the weighted sum is greater than or equal to the threshold here the output is 0 thus the weighted sum must be lesser than the threshold here the output is 1 thus the weighted sum must be greater than or equal to the threshold here it is 0 so it is lesser than the threshold 0 lesser than the threshold if it is 0 lesser than the threshold and also lesser than the threshold so this is the inequality column and based on this column we will uh, estimate or we can say that we will find out the approximate values of w1 w2 w3 and also t so as i said this is the uh, trial and error method so we will go on seeing what are the steps first one is we need to find the threshold value t depending upon this column here 0 is greater than t this means t is negative that is threshold is negative because 0 is greater than t ok so assume that t is equal to minus 1 you can assume any negative value but it is better to take smaller values first okay next w3 is greater than t greater than t so let us assume that w3 is equal to 1 okay 1 is greater than minus 1 right okay so this is the second step and we will see the third step sorry here it is w2 okay w2 is lesser than t so let us assume that w2 is equal to minus 2 for example minus 2 is lesser than minus 1 right and fourth w1 is also lesser than t okay let us assume that w1 is equal to so let us assume that w1 is equal to minus 2 the weights can be equal there is no problem with that so now let us see if all the conditions are satisfied okay so these are the conditions that we need to satisfy so w1 plus w3 is greater than t so add w1 and w3 minus 2 greater than or equal to okay minus 2 plus 1 that is nothing but minus 1 it is greater than or equal to minus 1 
yes the condition is satisfied so next condition is w1 plus w3 should be lesser than t okay so w1 is nothing but minus 2 w3 is nothing but plus 1 so it should be lesser than minus 1 but minus 1 is not lesser than minus 1 so the condition fails now we need to modify the t value okay minus 0 0.5 let us assume it as minus 0 0.5 now the condition is satisfied okay even the first condition will also be satisfied with this value of t so this is the trial and error method we need to go on changing the values if the conditions doesn't satisfy okay next is the condition that is w1 plus w2 should be lesser than t okay w1 is nothing but minus 2 minus 2 w2 is minus 2 it is nothing but minus 4 is it lesser than minus 0 0.5 that is t yes this condition also satisfied and the last condition is w1 plus w2 plus w3 should be lesser than the threshold value t so w1 is minus 2 w2 is minus 2 w3 w3 is 1 which is nothing but minus 3 if it is lesser than minus 0 0.5 the threshold value yes this condition also satisfies so these are the values of t and all the weights so we will construct a threshold logic here t value is minus 0 0.5 that we have modified later so w1 is minus 2 w2 is minus 2 w3 is 1 here we have inputs x1 x2 x3 and here we have y so this is the final answer for this type of problems so today we have seen the basic concepts of uh, threshold logic and uh, representation of threshold logic and also io relationship and we have seen two examples uh, which are related to the uh, threshold logic so this is all about today's session so in the next session we will see some more problems uh, with these concepts and uh, we will also see how gates can be represented using the threshold element and threshold logic thank you and also please subscribe and uh, like share the videos okay so stay safe stay home have a good day bye